Hi, my name is Marcin Lewandowski and you are watching Adorama TV. One of the best, if not the best compacts in the existence. I bring you the Sony RX100 Mark IV. I think that the specs describing its capabilities are well known to everyone by now, but just in case. We have a bright size lens, 20 megapixels on one inch sensor, up to 132,000 shutter speed, 4K video, 1000 frames per second slow motion, an electronic viewfinder, a tilting flash, all of these and more fitted in a pocketable metal body. The camera is definitely geared towards photographers as it provides total manual control over all of its functions. It has customizable menus, three memory banks for various settings and reprogrammable buttons. If we spend a bit of time tweaking these our needs, it becomes a really personal tool with all functions we most need literally at our fingertips. An interesting feature is its capability to change any options without really turning the camera on. Just press play menu, voila! A tilting 3-inch screen at the back that allows us to shoot from wonky angles can also be swinged around for that all-important selfie. It will even provide us with a counter to strike a pose. The screen, as well as EVF, apply all camera settings on the fly so we get what we see not only in terms of composition with its 100% coverage, but also color, light intensity, etc. The same happens when we use, for example, different color profiles like the cinematic S-Log2. The viewfinder is also doubly handy as its activation can trigger turning the camera on and off. This is, in my opinion, the quickest way to get RX100 ready for action when using the viewfinder. The shutter of this little gem is something I would love to see on my DSLRs. I mean, one thirty-two thousandth of a second and possibility to make it completely silent by switching to the electronic shutter is something I really miss in my other cameras. Another unique offering for RX100 is the manual focus override with a ring around the lens which I would not normally expect from a pocket camera. Diving into menus we find a plethora of options to make photographing even more enjoyable. One of the first ones that springs to mind is aspect ratio choice that only covers a crop portion of the picture and it's all retrievable in post. Another great addition is the three stops ND filter. Flicking through the menus, we stumble upon a folder called application. This is where we can install apps to further the camera's already extensive capabilities. It's initially empty, but I immediately downloaded time-lapse, double exposure and phone sync apps, rendering the camera an even better tool to grab things in whatever way I choose. In whatever way I choose also includes its physical capabilities, namely image stabilization aka steady shot, which is simply spectacular. Over half a second handheld exposure is not a problem and when filming I feel almost like I'm using Steadicam, just see it for yourself. Sony RX100 Mark IV rises the bar so high in terms of compact cameras that it created a spot for itself. It not only produces rich files with 13 stops of dynamic range, but can record Steadicam style video in very high resolution. It's my pocket camera of choice and I imagine it's a first choice for anyone serious about photography that needs the smallest possible body without too many constraints in terms of quality and control. If you would like more info about the RX100 Mark IV, have a look at the six-part blog I wrote for Adorama Learning Center. Don't forget to subscribe to Adorama TV channel for more. This was Marcin Lewandowski for Adorama TV. See you soon.